Hey everybody, Tom Potosnack here. I want to welcome you to Songs and Stories for Boomers and Xers. Now, what can you expect to hear here? Well, uh, a mix of um, what I hope you'll find to be entertaining, thoughtful, sometimes humorous, and also heartfelt and poignant stories, songs, monologues about growing up, growing older, and the ups and the downs and the sideways of everyday life that, well, people who have been around a block or time or two can definitely relate to, reflect upon, and who knows, you might even find that you connect or perhaps even reconnect to the things that matter most to you. Because, you know, songs and stories have a way of doing that. They've done it for me over the years. And, uh, and if I can help do that for you, well, that's a home run as far as I'm concerned, because quite frankly, that's what I enjoy most about doing this and about doing shows. Now, you might ask, why am I doing this for boomers and Xers? Well, Take a good look. I myself am a baby boomer, latter day baby boomer, almost to the uh, to Exerville, but not quite. But uh, boomers and Xers, these are the people I grew up with. These are the people I relate to. These are the people that relate to me and the stuff I do. And uh, another thing about boomers and Xers that it's a characteristic that we share that I think is really significant, and that is, we are the last generations in the history of the planet. I'm not overstating that. The last generations in the history of the planet to be born, raised, and reach the now drinking age of 21 before the advent and uh, the subsequent cultural transformation brought on by social media. Boomers were, well, that started in 46, Xers in 80. So by 2001, there was, there was no Facebook, there was no Twitter. We had mobile phones, but they weren't smartphones. And uh, so we, we grew up differently. We thought differently. We, we did things differently. And that sensibility, if you will, uh, has carried over. Now, I'm not saying that younger somethings can't enjoy what I do. I, uh, I do one-man shows, and my daughter has actually been involved with those and sang harmonies, which I guess makes it one man and one daughter. Uh, but in any event, she'll bring people to the shows, and the younger folks enjoy it too because, well, their parents are boomers and Xers, and a lot of these themes are universal. So, uh, but you know, the boomers and the Xers—that's uh, that's kind of my tribe, okay? And uh, well, let's see—you're going to get one story, one song per episode. I'll keep it short and sweet, and uh, give you a chance to step off the planet for a bit, enjoy this stuff, and then I don't know, uh, resume your regularly scheduled programming. All right, now. The story behind this first song, talking about how kids have grown up differently than boomers and Xers. Well, a good friend of mine, a guy that I grew up with two doors away in Wayne, New Jersey. He uh, moved away. He was living all over the world. He wound up in Chicago. I'm in Massachusetts. His mother moved to Mass. He came up to visit her. I hadn't seen the guy in many, many years. We decided to hop in the car, take a road trip, day trip down to Jersey, back to our old hometown, our old neighborhood walking around. It's a beautiful summer day, and I'm telling you, it was like a ghost town. There weren't any kids out playing ball. There was a lake down the end of our street. Nobody's swimming in the lake. It was really, really odd. And, and on the way back to Massachusetts, uh, we started reflecting uh, about just how differently things were when we were growing up back in, well, the olden days. As far as we were concerned, it w was something like this. Two, three, we were shot out of a cannon Every single summer morn Nobody knew where we were going As long as we were home by supper time We'd be fine We'd eat real fast and go back outside Until the fireflies arrived And it was time Called it a night Here we were growing up In the olden days Before there were play dates Growing up In the olden days Kid could go out alone and be safe Never everything was unsupervised Or sanitized If you wanted trophy you had to win. Well I went by old lines head lake, nobody was on the beach swimming to the raft. 
Went by the scallop ball field And all I saw was dirt and grass Well it's a sad, sad situation When a whole generation Was tethered to their playstations When we were growing up In the olden days We'd rather hang outside Growing up In the olden days We'd get on our bikes and we'd fly Get to school, mama didn't drive We'd walk her on the bus, we'd ride Yes, and somehow we survived now, I'm not saying everything was great Yeah, they were narrow-minded and ignorant things we do But these days enlightenment mixed with arrogance of common sense ain't cool You know it just makes us a bunch of smarter fools Than we were growing up In the olden days we had to stand up To answer the fall Growing up In the olden days you fill your gas tank And not need a bank loan Growing up in the olden days, we even had to get up to change the channel. Growing up, in the olden days, hey, they were in golden days. Ah, but they were our days. And though everything does change, one thing I wish stayed the same is that if you wanted a trophy, by God, you still had to win. Now, let me tell you about something that people love to mention after I play that song. Everybody wants to know, ah, trophies, these kids these days, they get trophies. People love that. Some people will applaud at the end of the song, oh, the trophies, you know. Well, my first exposure to the whole trophy phenomenon, my daughter played youth soccer, six, seven years old, I can't remember, been trying to forget. But anyway, soccer wasn't her thing. I don't want to put her down. She had many, many great talents and what have you, but soccer was just not one of them highlights of that season. Well, first of all, I was the big dutiful dad out there with the, remember the camcorder? Filming every action list packed moment of the season. Well, highlights, kicked the ball twice all season long. And one time she was sprinting as fast as she could away from it, hit her on the foot. I'm not going to split hairs. The other big highlight of the season. Well, they had her <clears throat> playing defense. And there she is, the game going on around her. And she's in front of the goalie doing cartwheels. Well, but guess what, folks? The season ended, and she walked off with a trophy. Honest to God, I turned to my wife and I said, you know what they should have given that kid? Brochures for other activities. Have a great day, folks. <laughs>